What's up guys, and welcome back to my Let's Play series for The Outer Worlds. In this episode, we're going to be helping out the Iconoclast for the third episode in a row. This mission is called Sucker Bait, and what we're doing is helping out Zora Blackwood secure some information about the massacre. Hope you enjoy, and please remember to like and subscribe. Hey Captain, I need your help, and we ought to keep it hush-hush. You know about what happened here, right? The history of Amber Heights? You're talking about the massacre. Back when the corpse were pulling out, pirates raided the place and killed the MSI bigwigs living here. Right. Common belief is that the pirates fled to an old relay station that had already been abandoned, but nobody could find them. The station's locked up, but one of my people found an old data cartridge in a nearby wrap nest. It's mostly corrupted, but I pulled a couple codes off of it. One is the code to the Amber Heights gate. I don't recognize the other, but it's similar. I bet it opens a door. A random door code doesn't sound all that useful. I know it's a long shot, but if we miss something there, if you can get into that station, maybe we can get some answers. I think I know the answer, but why are we keeping this to ourselves? Graham isn't fond of talking about the history here. He had friends who worked here. The massacre hit him pretty hard. You know him. Live and let live and all that. I don't want to burden him right now. Especially if this ends up being a dead end. Okay, I'll go to the relay station and see if the code's useful. Anything else? Just a warning. The area is infested with mantisaurs. I'd send some help, but we're, you know, preparing for war. Right, I'm on it. Appreciate it. Here's the code. If it works, bring back anything you find. Supplies are best, but information's good, too. If someone was behind the Amber Heights massacre, it'd give a lot of people around here some closure to find out who and string them up. Good luck. Watch out for the Taros. Hmm, this is interesting. I think that we probably know the person who was responsible for the massacre. It could be Graham, Sanjar, or maybe even Phineas. We're off the fast travel, we're already in a fight, and we got really close, so can't really get much better than that. And I thought that thing was still alive for a second, but just some wonky mechanics. Alright, let's be quiet here and see if we can get a nice little sneak attack going. You call that a mantisaur infestation? That wasn't too bad. We've seen way, way, way worse. Gotta enter the code. Prepare to be shocked. Let's see who it is. Hmm. So we can't actually read the data cartridge. Alrighty then, I guess we'll do a quick loot of this place, and then fast travel all the way back to Zora, and then she'll be able to give us the answers we need. Welcome back. You find anything out there? I found a box of old data cartridges. Let's see. These are old. Looks like correspondences between the pirates. Some bits here, some there, some... Wait. This... This one's got the Amber Heights gate code on it. Just like the one I found earlier. And here's... a letter. Wait, this is from Graham. Oh, of all the... Captain, he gave them the gate codes. Graham caused the attack himself? Yeah. He did. He really did. I know he's got his head in the clouds, but... I always believed there was a core of good there. What the hell happened to live and let live? Thank you for bringing this back, but I need some time. I gotta think. I'll let you know if I figure something out. Oh shit, he was one of my three suspects, but he was kind of my lowest probability one for causing the massacre. We have to go up there and talk to him right now and see if he has a good explanation. Otherwise, I don't know, we may have to kill him. Don't trust this guy anymore, that's for sure. 
Ah, hello. You're still alive. I know you're responsible for the Amber Heights massacre. When I founded the Iconoclasts, I did so amidst the ghosts of this planet's past. Since then, many have asked me, why here? Were you involved in the massacre? Was that some gruesome plot to clear a path for my dreams? My response to you is the same as to all others. The death of MSI was an incidental tragedy. I'd have walked this path with or without it. You're avoiding the issue. You set pirates on innocent lives. I did no such thing. Their deaths came in the night while I slept in Stellar Bay. And regardless, we're discussing a past long since left behind. Those ghosts still haunt me. But they needn't curse my people. When the entire colony has embraced our truth, perhaps then the perpetrator will come into the light. Until then, it does us no good to dwell on past mistakes. Why though? Why did they all deserve death? If I were the type of man to make that decision, and I assure you I am not, I'd have to be so obsessed with dismantling their regime that I'd turn to desperate measures. I have since learned that their mistakes will end them in time and that we will persevere where they do not. But back then, suffocating under that oppressive culture, I can understand a lesser man than myself making a terrible, ghastly mistake. Calling a massacre a ghastly mistake is putting it a bit mildly. Would you prefer I spend my days wallowing in misery and desperately seeking forgiveness for sins long past? I have people to lead, a home to keep. Here, without the shackles of the Halcyon board, we are free to grow as the universe intended. Had we fled with MSI, our spirits would have withered. You've seen that withering yourself. The colony is dying. The massacre of Amber Heights, unfortunate as it was, presented the slim possibility of saving the souls of Terra too. Here we are, poised to do just that. You can't just play judge, jury, and executioner like that. Free will is a double-edged sword, Captain. The universe judges us all. Whether your choices are helpful or harmful to the cosmos is not up to you. Those executives were found to be poisonous to the spirit of humanity. They were doomed, whether by the hands of man or beast, their time was coming to an end. And here I am, a paragon of the eternal truth, leading a society of like-minded people. The universe has found me worthy, despite whatever sins you believe I've committed. Let us speak no more of this, Captain. We have a message to spread and a colony to save.